everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah and today I want to talk about how to overcome your fear. Now as we are speaking, I'm actually overcoming one of my biggest current fears and that is filming this YouTube video. This might seem really strange, but I haven't filmed a video in about two and a half years and I've really been anxious about this moment, but I just decided to sit down and just do it and today I'm going to teach you how I got to this point and give you some tips on how you can overcome your biggest fear as well. So let's get into it. Now, first of all, I should say that fear is something really natural and everyone experiences fear to some extent. Fear is something that helps us stay alive and it's there to protect us. In most cases, we are afraid of the things that will eventually hurt us or might even kill us. But the things that we're going to talk about today are the things that we're afraid of, but they're actually not protecting us. They're holding us back from getting to where we want from making progress and becoming better humans. So we need to analyze whether or not the fear that we're feeling is something that is very crucial to our lives or if it's something that we can deal with and we can overcome without actually being in danger. So as I already mentioned, fear comes in very different forms. There is fear of judgment, which is also known as perfectionism, fear of failure, Procrastination is also a fear. In order to avoid doing something that you don't know or that is scary, you're doing something that you already know and that feels really easy, so you're procrastinating. So if you struggle with procrastination, that is also a sign of fear and many other forms as well. And the way to overcome whatever fear you're currently dealing with is to do an exercise called fear setting. Now, I know this exercise from Lavender. She's also a YouTuber here and she makes self-improvement, self-development um, content. So I highly recommend checking her out. I will have her uh, link in the info box. And she has this workbook called the Artist of Life Workbook. And in there is an exercise on fear setting. So the way that this works is to analyze your fear and figure out what is the worst case scenario that could happen if you did the thing that you're afraid of, in my case, making YouTube videos. So what is the worst case scenario that could happen if I still went and made YouTube videos, even though I'm scared of it? Well, I could upload a video, maybe no one watches it, or maybe people watch it and they don't like it. Maybe they're mean to me in the comments. Maybe my friends would see it and they don't want to be friends with me anymore because they think it's weird. Maybe my family or my boyfriend resents me for doing videos. And worst case scenario, I would end up all alone, no friends and nobody would like me. But here's the thing. Am I still going to be alive by the end of that? Yes, I am. So just ask yourself, what is the worst case scenario that could happen? And once you wrote that down, are you still alive and breathing? Because if you are, then you're going to survive. And fear wants to protect you from getting killed. But if you manage to stay alive, then there is actually no reason to be so afraid of whatever it is you want to do. But there's actually a part two to this exercise, and that is to write what can I do to bounce back from whatever it is that happened? So imagine those worst case scenarios actually come true. What are little steps that you can take towards actually bouncing back from it? So in my scenario, some things that I could do in order to bounce back is to talk to other people who also do YouTube videos, hopefully make some new friends, talk to my current friends and my family about why I do what I do and help them understand why I do it. Um, I could keep making videos and hopefully find some people that find value in it and be nice to me and build up a nicer community. So those are all little steps that you can take towards getting better. And once you wrote down all of those little actionable steps, you have basically an emergency plan of what you could do if any of those things were to happen. And that is something that really, really helps you mentally to overcome your fear because the biggest thing about fear is 
It is all in your mind. And once you acknowledge that, and once you realize that and really, really internalize it, it is so much easier to actually go past it. Oftentimes we don't even realize how much negative self-talk we're doing and how many thoughts that we have that are actually so fear-ridden. So something else that is super crucial to getting over your fear is to try and work on your mindset. Turn around your mindset by becoming aware of every time that you have one of those negative thoughts acknowledge it know that it's there but think back to the exercise is this something that is actually fact-based is this something that i should be scared of and if it's not just let it go of course if you're afraid of something like i said that is actually a potential threat to your health or to your well-being to you being alive then you should be a lot more cautious with that but if it is just a fear of talking in front of public audiences making a YouTube video, writing that essay, going to confront someone about something that has been bothering you. Those are all things that is very valid to be afraid of, but it's nothing that is gonna endanger you in any way. If at all, it hinders you to grow as a person. And do you really want to be stagnant because you're afraid of something? No, you don't. You want to keep moving, you want to grow, you want to move forward in life. So in order for that, what you need to do is move through the fear and take action. Now saying to just go through with something, even though you're afraid, is easier said than done. And I myself know it, I've been dreading making this video for so long. But another thing about fear is that the longer you wait and the more you think about it, the more you overthink it, the bigger this whole thing will become. And what you're afraid of at the end is not actually what you were afraid of initially, but it is the fear itself. There is a saying that the biggest fear is fear itself. And this couldn't be more true. Sometimes if you just let something rest and you overthink it, you will blow it up in your head to be this really giant thing. But through this exercise, you will realize that all of those scenarios that you might have played through in your head are actually very unlikely to happen. So there is no reason to not go out and try. And it might take time, whatever it is that you're afraid of, but taking little actionable steps and gaining some small wins along the way will help you to become more confident to look your fear in the eye and just go through it the next time. So try to make little baby steps, try to gain as many wins as you can and those will stagger on top of each other and make you more confident. So by the end, you will have walked through this thing and come out the other end and chances are it wasn't actually as bad as you thought it was. For me at this very moment, I'm listening to myself saying that and I couldn't agree with it more because although this is very scary and I was so afraid of it, it's actually not that bad and it feels really good. <laughs> so I can take this win and go on, film a new video and get another win and just take one step in front of the other and just keep going. So what we've learned is that fear is something completely normal and it is part of our lives for the rest of our lives. But what we can do is to not let it control us, to assess where that fear is coming from and whether or not that fear is actually relevant or if we don't need to be protected from it and we can just let it be and move on with our lives. And with that tool, you're able to overcome and will be able to overcome your fears from now until the end of time. <laughs> and I really hope you enjoyed this video and found some value in it. I hope you learned something from it. If you have anything else to add, like another resource or a quote that helps you get over your fear, leave it in the comments below. I would love to know or let me know on Instagram. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up so I know. And other than that, I hope you will be back here next week for a new video. I will be back for sure. I have committed to making a video once a week. So consider this my official comeback. And I've been rambling on, so I hope you have a lovely day and I can't wait to learn, create and inspire with you here next week. Until then, have a lovely time. I will see you. <laughs> Bye. It's weird. I should have scripted this. <laughs> Cheers, shots!